Hi, my name is Sensor, I'm from Team Solo Mid, and these are my top 5 junglers for solo queue. My top 5 junglers for solo queue, they are Elise, Rek'Sai, Ill, and Kha'Zix and Illy. I took Elise as number 1 because right now I feel like Elise is just a dominant champion in solo queue. Elise has, I think, the strongest ganks and the best skirmishes of all champions right now and she her little free spike is insane you can one one any jungler elise scales really well too if for tank items i would personally do a sin hog into haunting guys and sock boots so you still have a lot of damage and after that you can do full tank and you'll still be relevant in team fight i take rex as number two because he's a really easy champion to play and with the new items coming into the patch if you do rex out with sin the hog and then you after you do the stag gate gosh oh gauge he becomes a really strong skirmisher and he can carry even team fights. Rek'Sai is also really good at ganking early on because he can turn a little walls and he has a really good knock up. I take Evelyn's number three. Evelyn's a really, really good clearing champion. She cleans jungle so fast. She takes a lot of damage during it, but she can clean really fast. And after her cleaning, she she as a an invisible champion. Every single player on the enemy team always has to be afraid of Elwyn ganking you. And you can only spot her with pink wards. And since in solo queue you don't buy that many pink wards, she's a really strong ganger too. And if you can flank from behind at level 6, they are most likely 100% dead. And you also do rune clave on Evelyn, so you can burst down a target really, really fast. And her early ganks are really strong. I said Kha'Zix is number 4 because Kha'Zix is a champion. He is clearing. It's not the strongest. He has a decent clear, and that's why I do Pearl's Mind least, uh, on Kha'Zix. But his ganks already a little free. If you can come from behind them, even though you have no CC, most of the time one of your laners has CC, and if you can come from behind that lane and they CC, you can definitely do 60 to 70 percent of their health in like one combo already level three. At level six, Kha'Zix has a huge power spike because you can evolve your Q and you do extra isolation damage to one champion with your Q. So you can most likely want to win any champion in the game. And at level 11, this is the power spike where I call Kha'Zix a god tier jungler. Because at level 11, he can jump in and you can get a reset if you kill one, you can jump out again, which is really, really strong for skirmishes. And in team fights, if you play around your team and the second you see a target low you just jump in kill him and jump out again you already won the team fight for your team if you can kill one of the carries and for nilly nilly is a really skilled champion i put her as number five because like if you play nilly to perfection you i would probably put her higher but i put it at number five because you have to land the cues and they nerf the cues so it's harder to hit now because the Q duration is 0.25 now where like you see the animation as an enemy and when you see the animation from Nilly, you play around that. So like if you see her spearing, you see the animation of her hand like throwing the spear, you can already see where she's pointing at. You just look at the body, where she's pointing at, and then you just dodge, like because you know where the spear is gonna come. But if you if you as an Nilly player can sort of predict where they're gonna run, even though they can see the animation, if you hit that spear, you can carry every single team fight. So if you play around your positioning, because Nilly still as a champion, if you hit that spear, you can one shot a guy and you can do so much damage in team fights and your heals are insane. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of the guys over at lolclass.com.